I fear every single day to, um, to, to be overcome by some kind of sickness, illness, accident. People, they, they decide, you know, whether to eat or get a potentially life-saving test. And I just, I need to have something so that I can get myself out from underneath. And I'm hoping that somewhere down the line, the, we will have United Health, Universal Health Care. I don't know if I'll be able to hold on for the next two and a half, three years to make 65 to collect Medicare. I don't know. But right now I have health care needs. And um, I'm just hoping that the reform will, will come and come soon. I'd like to thank the Shriver Center attorneys, Kate Walsh and Samantha Tuttle, for all their efforts on behalf of myself and all the other families here at Evergreen Terrace. Though our struggle is far, far from over, we're confident that these attorneys <clears throat> will find a solution that allow us to keep our homes. We thank them for their passion, commitment, and vision, and we look forward to working with them towards a victory. My children and I are survivors of domestic violence. Throughout my experiences with domestic violence, I found it hard for me and my children to move on um, financially and emotionally. Um, my employer made it very hard for me and my children because they did not respect my accommodations, my needs, the things that I needed to do outside of my job as far as counseling and things like that. When I attempted to take time off work, they ended up um, terminating my employment. The VESA Act helped me a lot because it basically stands up for women like myself and it helps us to maintain our self-respect. Even though I have not got my job back, it helped me to move on. Clearinghouse Review is a wonderful resource. As an author, I've been able to write articles that have had a direct impact on the way people have litigated cases and the way that we have uh, considered policy responses to things like uh, right to counsel in certain areas of law. I also use the Clearinghouse Review in my teaching, and what's wonderful about this is that I get to introduce my constitutional law students to issues of constitutional law and poverty, poverty and rights. These are things that my constitutional law students have not uh, conventionally thought about coming into a class like constitutional law, but I can introduce them to these issues through the Clearinghouse Review. And then finally, as a practitioner, I rely upon the Clearinghouse Review every day in my practice. Providing parents with what they need and children with the opportunities they deserve takes many of us working together at different points of the compass. My name is Gail Nelson and I work at the Carol Robertson Center for Learning on the west side of Chicago. Our centers serve over 600 children from babies to teenagers and their low income families every day. For many years my staff and I have worked with Dan Lesser, a senior attorney at the Shriver Center, on a wide range of child care issues. Dan is a tireless and effective advocate for the children and families we serve, and we are grateful for his expertise and commitment. We are very proud of the important work we do in our community, and we are also proud of our long and close association with the Sergeant Shriver National Center on Poverty Law. My name is Darnisha Brayboy and I am 13 years old and in the 8th grade at Mayo Elementary School on Chicago Southside. When I was 9, I participated in the Savings for Education, Entrepreneurship and Development Program, or C, at my school. Throughout the C program, I was given a chance to begin saving and have my savings match dollar for dollar. From the C program, I learned the importance of savings 
and that even a dollar saved can grow. I wish that the program had been long. At the end of the seed program, I saved over $5,000. With the money I saved, I plan to go to college and become a pediatrician.